I'm in a position to retire. So this morning I gave my three weeks notice to my bosses and they're very happy for me. I'm happy too. I, and Chelsea is happy for me too. She's the best co-worker a person could have. I have to order. Can I have a bacon good sandwich, please? Yes. What, what do I know about Mike? Mike is a, a, a videographer, he's a cameraman, he's a reporter, but more importantly, he's a good guy who treats people with respect, he treats people with courtesy, um, and just knows how, to, he, he, he's one of the best in the business. Michael, congratulations on your upcoming well-deserved retirement. I am sure the past several years working with Chelsea in particular have been difficult. Michael and I are here. <laughs> <laughs> but all kidding aside, uh, for more than the two decades I've gotten to know you, you have always been a steady hand in that media contingent at the courthouse and at the breaking news stories of the day. You have conducted yourself honorably and professionally and have been an asset to the people of WNEP and Northeastern Pennsylvania. You will be greatly missed. I wish you all the best. Congratulations. Happy retirement, Mike! We love you! Hey, Michael. How are you, buddy? Listen, I just wanted to say uh, congratulations, and I'm thrilled to hear that you're uh, retiring from WNEP TV. You're one of the hardest workers the station has ever had, and I know you'll be missed. So, best of luck to you. And just remember, today's Saturday, tomorrow's Saturday. They all flow together. Take care, buddy. Best of luck to you. Hi, Mike. Your buddy Jim here, coming to you from my backyard at the Jersey Shore where it looks not unlike many of the days we spent together in the valley. But I, I wanted to wish you a happy retirement. Thank you for all the knowledge and guidance you provided, not only myself, but all the reporters that came through the storied hallways of WNEP. And your hot dog and pizza knowledge in the valley is second to none. So happy retirement. Here's to no longer spending two hours every afternoon hunched over in a much too small crew cab. And I hope you enjoy the rest of your time on your little slice of heaven up there on the mountain in the Montrose. Happy retirement, Mike. So here I am filling in on the beat, Luzerne County beat reporter. It's a job no one ever wants. And I'm trying desperately looking through my piles of papers. We got to call the DA. We have to get Jackie Musto Carroll for an interview. I don't know what I'm going to do. And I look to my left and you in the driver's seat, You've already picked up the phone, you hit one button. Jackie, hey, it's Mike. We'll be there in about 10 minutes. Got a new reporter with me. It was always that easy with you. You always knew exactly who to talk to, exactly where to go, and most importantly, you knew all the best lunch places. I knew I was gonna be taken care of where lunch was concerned every time I worked with Mike Arat. So I want you to know how much I have missed you over the last few months. And I know a lot of people at WNEP are going to feel the same way once you are not working there anymore. It almost seems hard to believe, but I really hope you're not a stranger. I'll see you at Core Life. We'll have more lunch dates, and this time we won't have to call anybody from moving vehicles, okay? I love you. Best of luck. Hey, Mike. I'm so not a video girl, so here it goes. Um, I just want to thank you for always having my back out on assignments. If you know, something was going wrong, you always knew what to do, and you would step between me and any lunatics. And I think that you're going to be sorely missed by not only the news media, but, you know, the community. You've, you've been a great part of this community for so long. Um, yeah, we've been through a lot of years, the, the Sarah years, the Jessica years, the Chelsea years. <laughs> And I think they, I think all of us owe you a great deal of thanks because of all the knowledge that you've given us. You're, you're old school and that's it. I hope that you enjoy retirement. I hope that you call me when you're down getting your hair cut and we'll go get lunch or, you know, something and enjoy it. Love you. Hi, Mike. I want to congratulate you on your retirement. Um, I hope that 
you take this time to um, really enjoy life and spend time with your family and do everything that you really want to do. I, um, I have very fond memories of working with you and um, knowing all the hard work that you've put in over the years and you truly deserve this time for yourself. You have always been that person um, to me when I'm standing in front of a sea of reporters and um, I see your face, your professionalism and your genuine kindness always put me at ease. I always knew that uh, no matter what, you had a story to, to run and, and a job to do, but you were always fair and you were always comforting. Um, and it, it was so wonderful to have had the opportunity to work with you. Um, I think that uh, the profession is losing an amazing guy and um, I hope this is not the end, that I will see you sometime soon. Um, although I don't uh, get interviewed very often anymore. I miss seeing you guys as often as I did before, but um, it, it, it really has been a pleasure working with you. I wish you all the best. And, um, and keeping that funny guy, the guy that everybody loves, um, don't change I, and enjoy life, enjoy it. Congratulations. Hey Mike, it's Ed Lewis, Times Leader as you know. Uh, we've known each other for 20 plus years, you know, working at Luzerne County Beat. It's always been a pleasure, you know, working alongside you and with you over the last two decades or so. I just want to wish you well in your retirement, and I'm sure you're going to have a lot of free time uh, walking your beloved dog. And if you're always looking for a nice hiking trail, uh, you can always find me down here on the Sugar Notch Trail. All right, best of luck, Mike. Happy retirement from the Plains Township Police, Mike. Call us and we'll go hunting sometime. Michael, congratulations on your retirement. The main thing about being retired is you don't have to do anything you don't want to. That's why you're retired. Congratulations again. Enjoy. And Chelsea, get your feet off the desk. Hi, Mike. It's been a while since we worked Wilkes-Barre together in the bead, and I, I'm often flashing back to the line where you said, you need to learn this is not a Norman Rockwell fairy tale world. And boy, have I learned that over the years in this business. But um, thanks for everything over the years. And I really do have a lot of great memories of us working together, including when you had to pick up the pieces sometimes, like when I was sitting on the curb in Wilkes-Barre with my head down and just done. And you somehow found a way to get me to go on. So you're one of the best, Mike, a legend around here. And, and what you've taught so many people can never be replicated but you deserve retirement and you deserve to relax and enjoy things. So thanks for everything, Mike. Good luck with everything. Don't be a stranger. Gotta warn you, Mike, being retired, it can be rough. You gotta sit down, have a nice glass of Glenlivet on the rocks and enjoy the sunshine. Wouldn't you much rather be out in the snow lugging that camera around? I don't think so. Have a great retirement. You'll love it. Mike, Dave Pedry here, coming to you live from Mike's Bench, the beautiful Luzerne County Courthouse. As you can see, you spent many an hour here waiting for the uh, some of the worst and some of the best people to come down this hallway here at the Luzerne County Courthouse. This bench, uh, where you will always be seated, is where I remember seeing you. Uh, and I want to say thank you for what you've done in your career and also for always giving me a fair shake. Good luck to you, Mike. Enjoy your time, my friend. See ya. Hey, Mike, it's me, the competition. And nobody should be happier about this retirement than me, but I'm not. I'm realizing they're going to probably replace you with somebody who's faster, younger, maybe even smarter. But one thing they won't be able to do is replace what a great friend you've been to all of us in the field. And I will truly, truly miss that. Good luck in retirement. Miss you. And uh, by the way, those of you that know me and are watching this, what are you doing watching 16? Hey Mike, reporting live from New York City. Just want to say happy retirement. So excited for you and your next chapter. And I always thought you were hotter than your cousin, Richard Gere. Have a good one. Hope to see you soon. Bye. Hey there, Michael. Mr. Erat, I refer to you as the keystone of Luzerne County and the keystone state. Uh, it's gonna be hard seeing you go. You've been uh, steadfast WNEP here for so long. 
man I looked up to to carry on the tradition as a photographer for WNEP. So, uh, you know, I'm filming this right now on the cabin. So hopefully you get some time to relax, enjoy, reflect, hang out with Emmy the dog, you know. But uh, wish you well. You've earned the time. And uh, enjoy retirement, buddy. Don't go nowhere. You're still part of the WNEP Bumble Boy League. Remember that. Fantasy football. Let's do it. By the way, go Giants. Hi, Mike. It's your favorite barber crew. And we just want to wish you a happy retirement. We're going to be super sad not to see you around town when we're walking for lunch and whatnot. But we'll have an unfair advantage over everyone because we'll still get to see you every six weeks. Bye. Bye, dude. Congrats. Congrats. Hi, Mike. Happy retirement and congratulations. I'm so excited for you. You deserve this. After your many, many years of storytelling in Luzerne County, you became a member of that community. You were dedicated to making sure that they were represented and there will never be another journalist like you to come through that county. You should be incredibly proud of the work that you've done there. You should also know that you changed the trajectory of my career just with your kindness, with the very gentle way that you pushed me to be better and with all of the patience you had with me. I will always be grateful to you and you're a special, special person to me and my career. And I want the very, very best for you in your retirement because like I said, you deserve it. And I can't wait to see what your next chapter holds. Congratulations. Hey Mike, it's Jim Halpin from The Citizen's Voice. I'd like to wish you a happy retirement and good luck on your future endeavors. Mike, it's been a pleasure working with you for so many years. You've always been wonderful to work with, a great guy. Congratulations on your retirement. I wish you well and your family. And hopefully I'll get there someday. So good luck and great work with you. One, two, three, one, two, three. Hey Mike, Bob Kalinowski here from the Citizen's Voice. Uh, Chelsea asked uh, me to do a little retirement video for you. So I know you and Chelsea are very, pretty much experts at uh, TikTok videos and stuff like that. This one's gonna be a little less flashy and uh, just pretty simple. Um, you know, I've been at the paper almost 20 years now. I think it's gonna be 19 years soon and you've been, uh, at, I think Channel 16 uh, my whole career. Um, just wanna say you were always one of the the classiest guys, one of the nicest guys, one of the most helpful guys in this uh, sometimes competitive business. I think 20 years ago it was a little, even a little more competitive and over the years, uh, maybe I should not reveal this or not, but we've helped each other out, uh, trading some information and helping each other out. Uh, I think, uh, you know, that, you know, we built up a friendship and a relationship over these, you know, that, that time and uh, I know you're uh, going to be missed here in the Northeastern Pennsylvania media. So congrats on your retirement, man. Hey, Mike. Ron Rome here, freelance writer, AP Luzerne County correspondent, super fan of you and Chelsea. Congratulations. May your retirement bring you the rest and relaxation you so much deserve. Thank you for your service to the WNEP TV 16 viewers. All the best, Mike, always. Enjoy your retirement, bud. Hi, Michael. Just wanted to say it's been great getting to know you and Chelsea over the last couple of years. Sad to see you go, but I'm happy for you for your retirement. And just wanted to wish you all the luck and enjoy. Hey, Mike. Chief Kochik over in Kingston. Hey, bud. Uh, congrats on your retirement. Well deserved. Uh, it's been a pleasure working with you over the last few years. Uh, You've earned my respect. You, uh, you've, you've been very good to us, and I wish you nothing but the best in your future endeavors. Uh, wish you all the best. Congratulations. Good luck. Take care. And if you ever need anything, uh, feel free to give me a call. Thanks, bud. Bye. Happy retirement, Mikey. I got my Newswatch 16 t-shirt on to celebrate this momentous day. I just want to send out a huge congratulations. You have so earned this moment of relaxation, getting to hang out with Emmy, getting to have that bourbon at the end of the day, getting to have a little bonfire moment, going to Penn State games whenever you want. Yes, we've earned that. And um, hmm, how did we earn that? Uh, I don't know. 
so many <laughs> years of no lunch, boiling with stress, sitting in a hot live truck, um, putting away horrible criminals, letting the world see what their faces look like, bringing them to justice, covering historic flooding, literally covering chapters of Northeastern Pennsylvania's history for decades. That's what you've done. And you've also helped so many people through your stories throughout the years too. Sticking up for the little guy and making sure that people feel heard and telling nice, happy stories too that just make people feel uplifted and happy. Um, I want to say thank you so much because I know I'm speaking for a lot of people when I say that you have been a mentor to so many young journalists who have walked through those doors. You really showed me what is it like to be a reporter with a photographer. What does the day have to be like relying on one another throughout the entire day? Um, you know, writing to your video, you are making deadline, not art. <laughs> and I just had so much fun with you. You are so sarcastic and hilarious. And I enjoyed every single minute of it, even when I thought my head was going to explode because the producers were driving us crazy. Um, but I love you so much. And I really just want to say congratulations. This is such a moment to sit back and feel so proud of everything that you've done because you've helped so many people throughout all your years. And News 116! Woo! Hey Mike, it's Bill Waddell. I just wanted to wish you congratulations on a well-deserved retirement. Just thinking back to all the miles that you've driven over the years, all of the back roads that you know, and all the incredible people that you've met, and the phone numbers that you've saved to help share important stories over the years for Newswatch 16. You've been an awesome resource. You're a great videographer. Most importantly, you're just a really nice guy that everybody knows and loves, and you always help make a really tough day just a little bit better. So from one Susquehanna County guy to another, I just want to wish you congratulations. Hopefully you can drive a few less miles and enjoy some lunch breaks that aren't interrupted by those phone calls. Mike, all the best to you in retirement. I still can't believe you're going to do it. First of all, you're not that old. Second of all, who is going to buy Chelsea coffee every day? All right. Now, have you left a pot of money at the Dunkin' Donuts for her or at the Starbucks? Because she's got to go to one of the two places, right? Mike, seriously, all the best to you. 30 great years, 30 plus years you're there. Who's going to come into my office and move my stuff all around and tell me to sit up straight? Really, I'm going to miss you, buddy. Hope our paths cross again soon. Enjoy your retirement. All the best. Michael, I'm wishing you well on your retirement. Best to you and your family and hope that you get to enjoy the great outdoors even more. Thank you so much for all that you've done to help share our story um, and protect Chelsea and I by being the heavy on the square, um, chasing off all the photo bombers so that we could get our story out there. You're such a stand-up guy and I wish you the best. Hey Mike, Nate Albrecht here. On behalf of the entire Shavertown Fire Department, we wanna wish you the best in retirement. We're gonna miss seeing you out in the field on calls, but I promise we'll hold some uh, holishki and potato pancakes for you at our next Lenten takeout. Good luck, cheers. Mike, what's going on? Can you believe it? Retirement day, buddy, it is almost here. Congratulations. You know, when I started here at the news station almost 17 years ago, you were one of the first photojournalists I had a chance to work with. You taught me a lot in just my first few weeks, but I will never forget the lunches, going out for some hot dogs, and macaroni and cheese and french fries. I will never forget your wit. You always cracked me up and always put a skip in my step every time I had a chance to speak with you. Thank you for what you have taught us. You made WNEP TV an even better place for your work, but even your ability and willingness to teach us young reporters how to do it like the pros, like you. Congratulations. Hi, Mike. I just wanted to wish you congratulations on your very well-deserved retirement and I hope you enjoy it and get to do all the fun things that you've always wanted to do. And of course, Lucy says, more walks with Emmy, all the walks, all the time. Congratulations from me and Lucy. Yo, Mike, hope you have a good retirement, brother. Be safe and remember, you're number one, dude. Congratulations, Mikey. So excited for you on this new chapter after such an amazing career. I wanna send you all of our love all the way here from Texas. We are so proud of you. You deserve all this great free time that's coming your way to just kick up your feet with a nice cold beer 
out in the country. I'll never forget all of our great times together. Anytime that we passed an ice cream shop, you always made sure to stop and get me an ice cream cone. We always had such good times and a lot of laughs and I probably cried a lot too. <laughs> So thank you for being an amazing friend, an amazing coworker, an amazing person. You deserve all of this great time with family, uh, vacationing. Maybe now that you have free time, you can book a trip to Texas and come visit us. We look forward to it. Put it on your calendar. Just want to say, Mikey, we love you. Congratulations. On to this next great chapter. The best is yet to come. Hey Mike, happy retirement. You definitely deserved it. And thank you for teaching me everything you did when we worked together. Hey Michael, congratulations on your retirement. I am so happy for you that you're going to have this new adventure. And I just wanted to say thank you for everything that you've done for me and for the Grand Bank and every little thing. Like you've been there since the start of opening the venue and anything I've had you and Chelsea have come out to you've helped me so much to promote my business and really from the beginning you've been so supportive and I think that just says so much for your character and the person that you are and seeing the relationship between you and Chelsea has been just so wonderful to follow and to see you both develop through that experience working together and I just I can't thank you enough for everything you've done and I wish you all the best in your retirement i hope you have so many great fun adventures and i just I, I cannot say enough how much i appreciate everything you've done for me in the start of my business i wish you all the best happy retirement well mike i heard you don't have to deal with chelsea anymore that's it. That's it. Right. <laughs> Just so you know, Mike, we're at the penalty box, which was one of the great moments in WNAP history. It was you, me, and a current male anchor, who Scott shall remain nameless, who came down here and we bought like four cases of beer as we went back to a slumber party, drove back in a WNAP vehicle and got stuck by Wendy's and had to be pushed by people that ran a truck into the this station out of uh, this place here so it was a dramatic finish but we I don't think anybody in my lifetime enjoyed slumber parties as much as you enjoy the fracking money enjoy the Yankees World Series championships and most of all enjoy your life the rest of the way you've been a class act and we love you have a good retirement Mike, it's been a long time since I've known you from the days when I was back in the edit booth screaming and carrying on and having meltdowns and you would always bring me peach rings. You mean so much to not only myself, but to everyone else that's worked here for so long. And I only wish you all the best in relaxation and all the walks with Emmy and you've earned it. Hey Mike, it's your buddy Dylan here in the Fox 56 studios. Hope that's not a conflict of interest for this video, Chelsea, but okay. Just wanted to wish you a happy retirement Congratulations, I'm so proud of you. It was a pleasure always running into you on the streets of Liz Let me start over. It was always a pleasure running into you on the streets of Luzerne County. 15, 20 minutes after I would get done at the story, then I would just see you kind of pulling up. It was it was great. It was always great having those conversations, letting you know where to park, letting you know who was available to talk. So <laughs> I'm so happy for you. I'm so proud of you. You're gonna kill it in retirement and I uh, can't wait to call you right after I send this video. See you, Mike. See you, buddy. Mike, buddy, the finish line is upon you, my friend. Congratulations on your retirement. First off, I just wanted to say, I really appreciate all your words of advice and all the kind words you've given me over the years. I always enjoyed stopping down at the WVNR. I know it was rare, but it was always nice to head down there and catch up with you and see what was going on. And uh, talk to somebody who uh, knew Luzerne County more than this Luzerne County boy did. Enjoy retirement, man up in Susquehanna County. Have lots of fun with Emmy. And if I remember up your way, I'll definitely stop by and say hello. Thanks, man. Enjoy retirement. Hi, Mike. I'm so excited to celebrate you and your retirement. Congratulations. This is a very, very, very long time coming. I'm here at the Hiller Tiki Hut. You are welcome at all times. And now that you don't have a job, you can just, you know, come in the middle of the day, hang out, have a drink. You're always welcome. I love you to death. I'm so excited for you in this next chapter, except local TV will never be the same without you. I know Chelsea will not be the same without you. 
You guys have had an incredible run. You have had an incredible run as a photojournalist. Thank you for everything. You are absolutely the best. All the love. Hey, Mike. So, I mean, what can we say? It's basically like the end of an era. So many reporters have come and gone from the Luzerne County beat, but one person has remained the same, and that's you. The station does not know what it's losing. Definitely. It's only been a couple decades, right, Mike? But uh, you look got to look forward to your uh, time off, your retirement. Just Can think, you don't have to deal with the calls at night and freezing your ass off. <laughs> <or laughs> weird hours. Or All the bullshit. Dealing with annoying people. Yeah, it's going to be great. <laughs> Congratulations, Mike, and keep in touch. We'll miss you. Definitely. Take it easy. Hey, Mike. It reached me all the way down here in North Carolina that you're retiring. I wish you all the best in your retirement. It is everything you've heard about, and I know that you'll enjoy it. Uh, we first met back when I was with the city and continued on through my time with the county. You've been nothing but a professional and a good friend. Uh, I enjoyed all of our interactions, and I wish you and your family nothing but the best and good health in your retirement. So then I said, wrecked them, damn near killed them. Oh, hey, Mike, just wanted to say uh, congratulations on retirement, man. Often gets lost in the shuffle of broadcast journalism is the photojournalist, which you are the top dog, as far as I know, as far as half them people, out, all them people out there know. Thank you, Mike, for all the years you gave us of excellent videography. And uh, congratulations, man. Retirement, dang. Hi, Mike. Just wishing you a happy and healthy retirement. Happy retirement, Michael. Hey, Mike. George Stark here. How are you? Congratulations. Excited for you. What a 40 years it has been. You will be missed. Your professionalism, your antics, your hijinks. But what you have done to make TV relevant is the piece I'll miss the most. So congratulations on your retirement, and I hope that every once in a while, when you get a chance, you know, to go to your mailbox, you think of me, especially when you pull out your letters from Kotera. Let's get some bacon, Mike. Enjoy yourself. Congratulations. Emily Ann Watson here. We just wanted to say congratulations on your retirement. Um, you have been such an awesome, awesome person to work with over the years that I've been at WNEP. Um, from a producer to a photographer, you've been so reliable ever since I've been with the station and I've loved, loved, loved working with you. We wish you all the best and if you and Emmy ever need a puppy play date or someone to go on a walk with and you're up the island, let us know. <laughs> Love you, Mike. Congrats. They don't get any better. Um, he's worked these streets and I've watched him think more about the person than the story. And I think that's hard to come by in the news business today. Uh, again, he's always been compassionate. He cares about people. He cares about the story, but he cares more about people. And that's, what's, that's what makes him your, a friend, more so than the guy that you have to deal with on the streets every day. Yeah, I would say he's not just a business associate. Uh, he's a friend of mine, and whatever Mike would ask me for, I would do my best to make sure I deliver. And, and his delivery of my emergency service work over the years, he has just known how to grasp the right pictures. He's done it professionally. He's cared about people in the process. And I just can't say enough about Mike's skills, and I'm, I'm tremendously happy uh, with his retirement. But I'm losing a good friend and a good professional ally. Okay, Michael, this is my third take. I cried too much in the last one. I got a little too teary-eyed. And then I lost my train of thought. But it's 12.15. You just dropped me off at my house. A.M. 12.15 a.m. You just dropped me off after your very last election night. And... Like Delaney said... You always cared more about the people than the story. And if that wasn't true, I don't think you'd have 
more than 50 people coming together and sending a video with well wishes to Chelsea, who they have to know is going to post it, right? Like all these people know this is going on fine, right? I hope so. I'm thankful that I found you in life. I'm thankful for everything you taught me. And I'm thankful that we will continue to be friends. And I'm thankful that now your life will be a little more stress-free. And you can have fun. And maybe we can have fun together. And we're still going to get coffee. This is not goodbye. This is see you in a couple days. Right? Or like maybe a couple weeks at most. Please. Okay? To divert the awkwardness, I'm going to put a couple fun photos here. All right, including our Armageddon photo that Mark Moran took and all the greats. Some really good ones. Happy retirement. Love you.